Thomas Killigrew, February 7, 1612, March 19, 1683, was an English dramatist and theatre manager. He was a witty, dissolute figure at the court of King Charles II of England. Life and Work Killigrew was one of twelve children of Sir Robert Killigrew of Hanworth, a courtier to James I, and his wife Mary Nay Woodhouse. He became a page to King Charles I at about the age of 13. According to Samuel Pepys, the boy Killigrew used to volunteer as an extra, or devil, at the Red Bull Theatre, so that he could see the place for free. The young Killigrew had limited formal education, the court and the playhouse were his schoolroom. Killigrew was present at the exorcism of the possessed nuns of Loudoun. In 1635 he left a skeptical account of the proceedings. Before the English Civil War, Killigrew wrote several plays, tragicomedies like Clarissa and the Prisoners, as well as his most popular play, The Parson's Wedding, 1637. The latter play has been criticized for its coarse humor but it also contains prose readings of John Donne's poetry to pique a literate audience. A royalist and Roman Catholic, Killigrew followed Prince Charles, the future Charles II, into exile in 1647. In the years 1649-51, he was in Paris, Geneva, and Rome, and in the later year was appointed Charles' representative in Venice. It has been said that Killigrew wrote each of his plays in a different city, Thomas O, or The Wanderer was written in Madrid. At the Restoration in 1660, Killigrew returned to England along with many other royalist exiles. Charles rewarded his loyalty by making him groom of the bedchamber and chamberlain to Queen Catherine. He had a reputation as a wit, in his famous diary, Samuel Pepys wrote that Killigrew had the office of the king's fool and jester, with the power to mock and revile even the most prominent without penalty Wakus or Slogo. SVG Diary of Samuel Pepys, Thursday, February 13, 1668. Along with Sir William Davenant, he was given a royal warrant to form a theatre company in 1660 which gave Killigrew a key role in the revival of English drama. Killigrew beat Davina to a debut, at Gibbon's tennis court in Clare Market, with the new King's Company. Its original members were Michael Maughan, William Wintershell, Robert Shatterill, William Cartwright, Walter Clun, Charles Hart and Nicholas Burt. They played for a time at the Old Red Bull Theatre. But in 1663 the company moved to the new Theatre Royal in Drury Lane. Unfortunately, Killigrew gained a reputation as an incompetent manager, he was constantly in disputes with his actors and had to bribe his stars to keep working for him. Killigrew staged plays by Afra Ben, John Dryden, William Wycherley. and Thomas Killigrew as well as revivals of Beaumont and Fletcher. Having inherited the rights and repertory of the old king's men, the king's company performed many of Shakespeare's works, in the rewritten forms that were so popular at the time and so disparaged later. Two Killigrew productions of his own Parson's Wedding, in 1664 and 1672-3, were cast entirely with women. In 1673, Killigrew was appointed Master of the Revels. He lost control of his theatre in a conflict with his son Charles in 1677. Charles, in turn, went bust a year later. Thomas Killigrew died at Whitehall on March 19, 1683. <laughs>